Today we're taking a look at the desirable Fieldstone subdivision, a development of single-family homes in Burridge that were built starting in about the mid-90s and was mostly completed in the early 2000s. Though as of this recording, there is at least one lot for sale if you're looking to build new. We'll discuss the location, the schools, the association, and of course the homes, and then we'll drive around the subdivision so you can get a better feel for the area. I'm Eric, owner and designated managing broker at Eric Anderson Homes, and if you like these neighborhood tours and want to know more about Chicago real estate, be sure to subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications. Now, on to Fieldstone. You know what they say, real estate is all about location, 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 and Fieldstone is the creme de la creme when it comes to location in Burridge. Fieldstone is located off County Line Road, just south of Plainfield Road, in the northwest quarter of Burridge in DuPage County. I-55 and 294 are only minutes from Fieldstone, and Route 83 is just to the west. The immediate area offers a wealth of amenities, including the Burridge Village Center, the Willowbrook Town Center, and several area parks. For those of you who need your coffee fix, no worries. There are two Starbucks locations just a few minutes from Fieldstone. You can also get your chicks on Route 66 at Delray's Chicken Basket, which was featured on Food Network's Diners, Drive-Ins, and Dives. School-wise, you're looking at Gower Elementary and Middle Schools and Hinsdale South High School for Fieldstone. Niche gave both Gower West and Middle Schools an A grade, ranking the elementary school at number 104 in the state and the middle school at number 79. Hinsdale South received an A+, and is ranked as number 45 in the state, so the schools are all very strong. Fieldstone has an association that offers maintenance-free living. The assessments have ranged from about $1,000 to $1,800 per quarter, and they take care of the lawn, snow removal, and maintaining the common grounds. Lot sizes vary. The homes on the cul-de-sacs generally have smaller lots, about a tenth of an acre, and some of the larger homes on Fieldstone offer three quarters of an acre or more. That one lot that's for sale is over an acre and they're asking 390,000 for the lot itself and the proposed home is listed at just over 1.1. In terms of the current inventory, homes in Fieldstone have recently sold anywhere between 680,000 on the low end and 1.225 on the high end with an average sale price right around $900,000. The homes typically range from 3,000 to 5,000 square feet, though for Mallory Court has a reported square footage in excess of 6,600 square feet. You can see that property values have held pretty steady in Fieldstone over the past 10 years. It looks like there's a sharp dip in September 2016 and a few record highs in 2021, but the data can easily be skewed by a few lower or higher sales, which is what's happening here. The current median sale price is $887,500, and while not a single home has sold for that exact price over the past two years, it gives you a point of reference for property values in Fieldstone. With that background in mind, let's drive around the area and have a look at the homes.
If you're thinking about buying or selling a home in Burr Ridge or relocating to Chicago from out of state, reach out to me anytime. You can find my contact information below and I'd love to hear from you. I'm Eric with Eric Anderson Homes, here to remove the headache from real estate and provide expert guidance for your next purchase or sale.